Hey, I seem to remember recently talking with somebody and uh, sharing uh, the idea about start where you are, do what you can, yeah, use what you've got. So in that spirit, I'm uh, lifting the curtain on my uh, the bridge between paper and a digital post production. <laughs> and as you can see, it's pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for most of you, some of you, it probably goes without saying that um, the post production in Photoshop is going to be aided by uh, a consistency in terms of capture. You know, you're, um, you'll, you'll have to rely less on uh, the free transform tool in Photoshop where you're actually, uh, I think it's Control or Alt, maybe Command, I can't remember which, but it, you, you actually are skewing and pulling corners. If you're consistent with your capture, you won't have to do that uh, because you're so other people have always used a tripod and I have a tripod and I figured why not uh, why not use that so as long as I pin these panels in the exact same spot and I don't move my tripod then uh, I'll have the exact same capture, which will make these pieces a heck of a lot easier to tile. That's what this, that's what this consistency is all about, because, you know, when you've got different scale and a bunch of different other variables, I mean, you can do it. You, you, you can tile it. It's just not as uh, easy. But I got to tell you, here's a really nice feature. I'm going to be a fanboy here for Apple. Um, so as long as I have the same settings here, and I'm actually warming it up a bit because you can tell that the light's not the greatest. Vivid warm. But I don't want to touch that. So you, this is pretty cool actually. Go to the app here. Go to the camera. And... Uh, Got it. <laughs> Let's check and see. This is my last one, so I can check this out now. Let's see what I got here. I should have one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, and the uh, you know, the, the, the crop, the framing is uh, virtually identical, which is what I wanted. So, game on.